Hello and welcome to Modern Nerdy Road and Geekery. Today I'm having a quick look at Ganjeeling. What is this? Well, it tells us in the About section. It's the official PyTorch implementation of Gan Supervised Dense Visual Alignment. Yeah, okay. Oh, you can put googly eyes on cats or a moustache on Elon Musk. Yes, yes, there you go. So there's a little link up there for the paper, the project page and the video if you want loads more information. And of course, the obligatory collab notebook if you haven't got your own gpu at home but of course i have so that's where i am going to be playing with it now there we go we've got um eight data sets eight pre-trained models some training code collab notebook and scripts lightning fast cuda implementation and all this other lovely stuff what do you need to do to get all this going what do you need for all this well you will of course need to download and install anaconda you'll need your nvidia gpu with its nvidia gpu drivers and the CUDA toolkit, and then you just need to run those five lines there, five line installation, amazing stuff. Now, I, of course, have already run those five lines, so I have just needed to run a few. I'm activating the environment, changing directory, and running that little Python path mod modification there so that it can see this little data sets code. There, done. So just make sure you run that every time you activate it and CD in there, and you will be good to go. So here it is, running pre-trained models. There's loads of them. Bicycle, cat, celebe, which is basically faces, cub, dog, TV monitor, car, and horse. And you can just specify those using the checkpoint argument there. Now, they do have some information here on preparing real data. So if you want to download your own data there, that's uh, you'll get the first 10,000 images from the Elson cats. There's loads of little scripts you can run in there. So that'll show you how to do the data. And then down here, as you can see, this is actually running off. Yes, yes, it is. It's it's a Rosenality Stargan 2 ADA PyTorch thing. Ooh, yes, that's right. So if you want to train your own things, they've got some training scripts there and all sorts of information for training your own models. Now, I'm just going to be doing inference on this. So let's scroll up here. There we go. So we've got the mixed reality object lens. This is this is the thing. This is where you put the googly eye on the cat and all that sort of stuff. So what is going on here? What is going on here? How do we do this? Python prepare data and, and all this stuff. Right. So first of all, you're going to need a video. You're going to need a video. I've got a video of a dog. It's in here. It's in videos. It says dog on it. And it's a video of a dog. There you go. Fantastic. Snagged it from uh, from Pixabay or no Pexels even. There you go, Pexels. There, video of a dog. So if you want to grab your own video of a dog and do exactly the same thing, then uh, it, it's up on Pexels. There, right. Anyway, right. So I've got a video of a dog. What do I do now? Well, you need to split it into frames. So you can do that however you like. But they have provided a little script there. Process video path to video. Okay. So I'm I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. There. I copied and I pasted it. Process video. Done there. Right, so that process of the video splits it out into frames and then we will need to prepare that data. There we go. So there, path, data, video frames. That's where it comes out in here. So you've got data, video frames. It makes that for you. It's called dog because that's the name of the video and that's where all the frames are. Yeah, okay, right. Let's pop that in there. And of course, I am saving out and making it 512 in size. There we go. Right. So I have created my dog video data set. Fantastic, eh? Fantastic. Let's have a, a quick pop back in here. And then you need to do this torch run command. As you can see there, it's got num GPUs. So I've set that to one. And then uh, obviously I'm changing it to dog rather than having the, the cat cartoon and uh, size 512 just because I've got a teeny tiny GPU. Yes, it's very small, very small GPU. Right. Let's copy all this in. So we've copied that in. We've got one GPU, mixed reality script. We're running the checkpoint dog out of those eight available bicycle cat, dog, cat, all that sort of stuff. Objects, label path, assets. What's going on here? We've got assets, objects, dog. Let's have a quick look over here. Assets, objects, dog. And then as you can see, you've got a couple of things you can do with a dog. You've got cartoon eyes. Let's, let's have a look at the cartoon eyes. These are quite big images, as you can see, 2.2. These are extremely high res. I think they're uh, 8K by 8K. Uh, yeah, 8192 by 8192. So uh, there you go. There's the googly eyes, the dog. Or you could do the dog with the little Rudolph nose and, and the antlers and things. There you go. Rudolph nose, antlers. Mm. Right. So it's it's just PNGs. Yes. 
Yes, it's just PNGs. We'll get on to making your own in a minute. But that's that's what that is in there. Sigma 3, I'll leave the same opacity. I've left the same real size 512 because that's what I put up there. Resolution 8192 because that fits nicely. And uh, real data path is my dog video, the one that I created with this prepare data set there. Okay, so we're ready, we're ready to go. We're putting cartoon eyes on a dog because it's the way forward, isn't it? It's what everyone wants to do. Put cartoon eyes on a dog or a cat. It's all right. It's, it's fine. Any of these eight things, or you can train your own, put googly eyes on whatever you fancy. Right. So the first time you run this, it will download stuff and that stuff will download over here. It will go into this pre-trained thing. So as you can see, I've already got cat, celibate, dog and horse. Now, if you download all of them, that's probably going to be about eight gig in total or so. They all seem to be quite large. And uh, there you go. So that will then eventually dump stuff out in here in visuals. So I've, I've got one there, my dog video data set video, my dog video data set. That's that's the one there. That's the one. Should we have a look at the, the funny video first? Yes. Here is the congealed version. There you go. That's that's what it's using to do all its magic. And uh, those ones create an incredible amount of creepy pasta or there, there's your propagated one. There is your dog with googly eyes. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it does. It put googly eyes on dog. I know, right? I know, right? There you go. So that that's how you can put googly eyes on a dog. Any dog you fancy. So take a video of a dog, put googly eyes on it. How about that? How about that? <laughs> right. Let's have a little scroll down. What else we got here? So uh, creating new object lenses. Actually, just before I pop onto that, um, I, I did note there, it does take a little bit of VRAM this um so when i ran uh with 1024 and 8192 resolution i did actually get an out of memory um so i tried again tried again and dropped this resolution here down to 2048 so that that was okay i didn't run out of memory then and then there's another little option there which is also very useful the minus minus fps option because by default it outputs at 60 fps which is quite fast and some of the videos looked quite funny when they came out at 60 FPS and uh, they were actually 24 FPS going in. So yes, you can, you can set the FPS there anyway. <clears throat> right. Anyway, creating a new object lens. How do we do this? Yes, it is indeed as simple as it looks. You just have to make a new image using your favorite image editor, but you have to sort of base it on one of these. So located in assets averages. So if we pop over here, we've got our assets up here. Whoops. Got our averages there. If I, if I crack open the gink, gimp, whoops. There, there, there's one I made earlier. Let's let's turn this one off. And uh, let's let's put that face in. There you go. Done. So there you got your face. So we'll just add a, a new layer over the top of that. There. That's whatever object I want. And um, so say for example, you wanted to put stars all over the face. You could put a star there. And uh, let's just make that one a different color. You can put a star there. We'll have another color. Let's, let's have a nice greeny one, shall we? There we go. There we go. Done. Done. Almost. Because what you want to do then is also make it a little bit bigger. Scale image. Yes, please. 8192. 8192. Scale. Da, 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 da. That, will, that will make it a little bit bigger for you. <laughs> Takes a while. There you go. So then you've got this nice big template, and then you can just file. Oops. Export as. And then you put it in the assets. Objects. That's a cello bay. And then if you sort of use their naming convention, it must be cello bay. Stars. There. Done. Yes, please. Automatic pixel format is good enough. As you can see, it's got a transparency, so that will be saved as an RGBA. And uh, you, can, you can then use that on your image. So let's, let's have a quick look at that. Discard images. So as you saw, I, I did my one earlier, just drawing those glasses. So I've got one here, model with nerdy. There's the, there's the congealed nightmare. Look at that. That's pure nightmare fuel, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look with those with those glasses on. There, look at that. It uh, it does really well at sort of deforming the stars, and the, those glasses look just look completely drawn on. That's fantastic, really high quality. Love it. Anyway, 
there you go. So have incredible amounts of fun uh, making your own little pictures and putting them onto videos and putting googly eyes on cats, things like that. And watch out for the nightmare videos. <laughs> Rodent out for now. <laughs>